Hello everyone, it's Allie. Welcome back, or welcome if you're new. Go ahead and click that subscribe button. Join the fam, it's a really fun time over here. It is August 13th. It is currently 7.48 at night, and I go back to work tomorrow. Uh, today was my last day of maternity leave. It's also my birthday. Um, it's been a great day. I am I'm nervous. I'm not gonna lie. Like I, I'm nervous about going back to work. It, it but I'm excited too. Like I, I like my job, so I'm excited to get back in the swing of things. I'm just nervous how it's gonna work with Emmy and her schedule. And you know, we're thinking Kyle will be able to work from home in the afternoons, but we just don't know yet. Um, it just kind of depends how like of his work policy. He's got to get it worked out. I don't know if that's happening tomorrow. I don't know, but. Um, I know I'm capable of doing it, but with my job being what it is, it's like 90% phones and calling and talking to people. And um, with a baby, that's hard, especially as she gets older and she's more talkative. So um, we'll see, you know, we'll, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, I'm nervous but excited. I'm just down here in the office getting my stuff ready for tomorrow. So I'm well prepared and ready to go. Um, it's definitely going to be a new adventure and I just thought I'd vlog the week for you guys. Um, you know, a working mother and getting back into the swing of life and, uh, a routine and just let you know how it went, the goods, the bads, all that. So right now I'm feeling good. You know, we have her on a good schedule and, um, that I'm grateful for. I'm just a little... My biggest concern is how long it's going to take to feed her because she's a slow eater so it can take anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour and that's an hour is an hour like that's an hour of my work day I'm not getting stuff done so again I'm just you know my daughter comes first first and foremost and my team understands that they know that you know I have the support of everyone but yeah I mean it's it's nerve-wracking and I know I am extremely fortunate for the position that I am in. I am extremely fortunate that I have number one gotten 12 weeks of maternity leave whether it was you know yes it was unpaid but still 12 weeks that's three months that was a huge amount of time very grateful for it and um, I'm also very fortunate that I work from home uh, that I work from home regardless so I get to be with her you know I don't have to pay for child care um, now further down the line it might be something we do but like for right now I don't have to pay for it and I am very very fortunate for that because um, I know that not everyone has this opportunity so very grateful for that and I'm also very fortunate that my husband does have the flexibility that he does have a work so if I really need his help or if he needs to work from home one day he can so good morning everyone happy monday um it's the day is here sorry i know i haven't set up my tripod yet it's been a rough morning um she woke up at 4 a.m and i think it's because she woke up at midnight and instead of kyle just like trying to put her back down he just went ahead and fed her um which is fine you know if she was hungry she was hungry uh, but that made her wake up at 4 a.m. and it we just had to keep going back and resettling her and resettling her to get her to sleep till like close to seven and I finally fed her hoping bless you that she would go back to sleep for like two hours like she normally does yeah she didn't there was like she was up she was awake she was there was no um there was no just getting her back to sleep so I have her down here with me um I'm she's very much awake she's not showing any tired cues so I'm just gonna let her stay awake um until she gets fussy enough or who knows maybe she'll nap in the bouncer I'm not really sure um yeah so so far the day isn't starting off as great as I wanted it to but we're I'm hoping that's not a bad omen for the rest of the day I'm excited to be back my team's happy to have me back um so yeah, I'm just hoping the rest of the day goes smoother. Kyle will be home in the afternoon, then I can make the majority of my calls. So this morning, I'm really just going to focus on getting together a call list. And if you're a recruiter, you know what I'm talking about. But other than that, uh, for those of you who follow me on Instagram and saw my most recent poll of should I become a Taylor Swift fan again, 
Uh, I am listening to her albums in order and no I'm not starting with the her versions. I'm starting with the original and then I'm going to go for the her versions. Um, so I am on White Horse now in Fearless. So that's going to be my soundtrack for the day. But I will catch up with you guys about halfway through the day. <laughs> so I, it's later. It's way later. I have not picked up my camera at all. Um, yeah, so I just finished my first day. It was rough, I'm not gonna lie. Um, it was rough. She was a bit more, Emmy was a bit fussier than she normally is. Uh, I think that was just part just because she didn't, she woke up early and just, she just wasn't taking naps. I think she was just overly tired. She's, she's managed to calm down now. Um, I don't know, but it, it was, it was harder than expected, but not harder than expected. I don't know if that makes any sense, but my brain is simply fried. I'm happy to be back. I'm, you know, I'm excited about some progress I've already made today. So, you know, all good things. My team's happy to have me back. Uh, so yeah, it, it was just a very busy day. It was, like I said, until Kyle got home, it was really hard. I was up and down the stairs, constantly feeding her, taking her for a nap. And it was just, I was kind of all over the place. And it's now like when I have to schedule calls, I have to think about her schedule. Like, okay, when's a good time for me to do this and this and this, like, and it was easier when Kyle got home, like for sure. He was able to, you know, really kind of take care of her, but, still it was you know it was still hard and i'm sure all you working moms can relate and again i know i'm in such a fortunate position and i'm not complaining about it one bit i'm just saying it was a rough day good <coughs> excuse me good morning everyone happy tuesday um it is 7 30. i am starting my work for the day but I wanted to chime in, start this before I do anything. Um, so far, today is going already a lot better than yesterday. Yesterday was just a very long day. She was fussy throughout the entire day. I mean, there was probably only like, maybe like an hour or two where she was kind of calm and her normal. And then like even her getting to bed last night, it took her forever to fall asleep. I think she was just because she hadn't slept like really slept all day i think she was just in that like overly tired state where it took her a while to be like oh it's bedtime like i can sleep but this morning we're already doing better she didn't wake up till like 4 50 this morning or actually no like 4 17 so i woke up i fed her um and then i was able to go back to sleep for like 45 minutes and then um i got up got ready was able to have my coffee and then i i actually had to wake her up at seven to do her feeding and then she went right back to sleep she's sleeping now um i'm hoping she'll stay asleep till around nine ish is what i'm hoping normally she does um if i put her right back to bed at seven she'll normally sleep for another two hours um, which I'm just taking, like, I know people are like, oh no, but she should be up and blah, blah, blah. Like, I'm truly taking full advantage of the time when I can put her back to sleep at seven because I know it's, it's a season. It's not going to last forever. She's going to get older and older and there's going to be a point where when she's up at seven, she's up and there's no putting her back to sleep. So I'm enjoying this season, um, to get some work done. All right, guys, so first of all, I feel like this is going to be the most boring vlog ever because I feel like this is literally just going to be what it is the whole time, which is me sitting at my desk. Um, so I apologize for that. But second day went a lot better than the first. Um, Emmy was great. I was actually able to make a, like 40 calls today, which is about half of my usual. But you know what? I'm allowing myself grace and taking small, small steps. But I read about that, guys. My camera battery died. Um, but, you know, I'm allowing myself grace and just doing what I can do in the time that I have. So, um, it's late. I worked, 
I really try now, especially like with MA to be done at five, but like if you're in recruiting, you know, like you kind of just work all the time. You're always on it. Um, but I try to be like out of my desk by five. Um, and that just didn't happen tonight. I had a call that went way over what I thought it was going to, but that's okay. It's just what it is. You know, what else can I do? But the day is over now. I'm going to go upstairs and spend time with my family, but excuse me. Hello everyone. I just realized I hadn't, I haven't turned the camera on all day. Um, it's been a day. If you could tell by the look, I've like smudged my mascara <laughs> on my face just because I'm so like, just that, uh, uh, it's, it's been a day. Um, frustrating work-wise, close to some good things and then, you know, they just fell through and it sucks and it's unfortunate, but it's what it is. And on top of that, the last like i don't know from like 10 30 to like one emmy was just very fussy and uh she wanted to be held so i couldn't get a lot done and now i've just lost steam and i'm just kind of like do i call it quits for the day or not but i don't want to just because there's so much more that needs to be done but my brain is so fried that i'm just like ready to be done. It's kind of like, oh god, I wish I could go back to maternity leave. Because <laughs> um, I'm not gonna lie, it was nice not having to answer to anyone or do this or do that or whatever. Like, it was, it was nice. I mean, as happy as I am to be back at work, it's hard. It's hard when I hear her crying upstairs. And I know her dad has her, but it's hard that I can't go up and get her. I mean, technically I can, but I... I need to work like I need to be doing my job because my job is commissions well it's part salary part commission but still it's I gotta do what I gotta do I gotta put in the work so that way I succeed and but it's hard it's definitely that mom guilt of like okay your baby's crying like this morning I was on a team call and I couldn't leave but my daughter was just crying and crying and crying and I knew she was hungry um, and I couldn't figure out how to switch the meeting to my phone so I just had to try to like shush her down and keep her from crying and it just broke my heart because like it, it was kind of the first instance where I just felt torn you know like what do I do and you know at the end of the day my daughter comes first you know before anything and that's what ended up happening and it was fine you know I know I have the support of my team and um and my coach and I, I know that but I just I I think I just set myself at such a high standard when it comes to work and success that I let myself down repeatedly <laughs> I'm working on it but um yeah it's just it's been a day I'm very ready to be done but I'm gonna try to crank out this last hour I have some T-Swift playing in the background and I'm just gonna try to sit down and crank out this last hour and make a really good plan for tomorrow Good morning everyone, happy Thursday. I'm remembering to start <laughs> this morning and to film this morning. Um, it's about 7.30, I am exhausted. I think that's the one thing, like I was just thinking to myself, I am more exhausted this week than I than I was my entire maternity leave. Um, and I'll talk a little bit more about that later, but it's just, the strength it takes to get out of bed in the morning is insane but the good news is she did sleep through the night again she didn't wake up till around 6 20. um i went ahead and fed her and i actually managed to get her to go back to sleep um so i did because it wasn't like seven i'm not really sure like how long she'll sleep my guess is she'll probably wake up around like 8 8 30 maybe which is normally when she goes down for her first nap so i'm kind of considering this her first like nap period but i'm gonna take the time and i'm gonna try to get some work done and um try to start you know making at least a couple some calls um... all right guys oh a little blurry 
there we go. Uh, today's been a good day. Baby's down for a nap, and I've had some really good progress today, so I'm, I'm very happy. Day's not over yet. Lots of progress still to be made, but I have an exciting package. So Kyle said he pretended that he didn't give me a birthday present, and then, you know, shocker, he's amazing, and he actually did. Um, and he said it got delivered, and I think I peeked out the door, and I think I know what it is. And I just got very, very excited. No tiger, we're not going on a walk. So I'm gonna get my live reaction. Stay. I can't scream because there's a baby, but. Oh my gosh, am I even gonna be able to like get this inside? Whoa. Yo, lighting. Look at my eyes. Guys, he got me an exercise bike. Look at this. I have wanted an exercise bike for the longest time. And I literally mean like the longest time. Because like my body is amazing and it gave me my daughter and hopefully a couple more kids in the future. But like this baby fat gotta go. This baby bod gotta go. You know, I'm past that, I'm done with it. I did it, I, I need to, it's gotta go. And I've always wanted a bike because that's my favorite form of cardio. Um, and oh my God, he got me a bike. I'm so excited. Uh, we'll, we'll unbox it tonight or when he gets home because I'm not, I don't even think I can get in the house. I'm gonna try. So let's see how this works. <laughs> Yeah, that was a quick try and a fail. I can't lift it and I don't want to hurt myself trying to. So it's just gonna stay out there until Kyle gets home in like an hour. I know his schedule. And um, now that like I know his schedule and like I know, you know, how the days goes and of course like every day is unpredictable. So like you never know with a baby, but now that I know kind of the gist, um, I want to fit in like a workout somewhere in my day um, because you know I am very fortunate to have the job that I do have that you know I'm not clocking in clocking out I'm putting in my own hours and getting um, so I can take a 10-15 minute break actually it's encouraged to take little breaks if you feel yourself losing steam and losing energy. Um, so I can take like a 15, 20 minute break if I want to do like a quick workout, get that in, which is what I think I'll be able, I'll be doing because like the nights go so fast. By the time I log off, it's like 637. It, it's like really around like 6, 630. Then we bathe them, then we bathe me and it's just like by that and put her to bed and by eight o'clock, like I don't want to do anything. I want to chill. So I am very, very excited. I'm going to call Kyle. And hold on, actually, let me call him now. Oh my God, thank you, thank you, thank you. For my gift. Oh, I thought you said for what? <laughs> but the thing is, I can't bring it into the house because it's heavy. <laughs> so, so it's just gonna have to w sit out there until you get home. <laughs> All right guys, it is the end of the day. I'm quite literally shutting everything down. I am exhausted. Um, truly, it's been a great day. I've had a lot of good progress, um, but it has been a long day and I'm very tired. My brain is fried. I don't think I can, I'm kind of amazed I can form sentences, but I did say, uh, I wanted to go over some stuff with you. So, you know, we're coming to the end of the week. It's Thursday and being, my baby's crying, but it's okay because dad has her. Being a working mom is hard. Like, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. It's, it is hard. It's, 
It's about as hard as I expect it to be, but also harder than I thought it would be. Um, especially in my job where I'm on the phones 90% of the day. Like today alone, I made 80 calls, around 80, 75, 80 calls. You know, that's hard to do with a baby. And you know, babies are unpredictable. Today was a really great day. Emerson slept really well. She was rested. She wasn't fussy. Um, it was a good day, but not every day is like that. I'll have days like Monday where she will just not stop crying, <laughs> you know, and that's the hard part of it. But today I was reminded why I love what I do. And it was just making connections with people. I talked with some really great people today and it just reminded me of why I love this job. And, you know, even the freedom I have with it, again, just reiterated that. Um, but I have truly been more tired this week than I have my entire time during my leave. Um, like literally last night I crashed at 9.30. Like, and when I say crashed, I mean, it was all I could do to make sure my alarm was on because my eyes were closing. Um, but it's very rewarding, I think, to be able to say, Yes, I'm a mother, but I'm also working. I, you know, I applaud all those stay-at-home moms out there. I know that's a job in itself. Like, I, I fully understand that, obviously more so now. Like, it's a lot of work. And, you know, I am not demoralizing you being a stay-at-home mom. If you're a stay-at-home mom, I think that's great. Me, personally, I couldn't do that. I need something for myself. I need to know I'm bringing something to the table besides being a mother even though that is my main job but I guess what I mean by that is that not only do I need something to separate myself from her because as obsessed with her as I am I need something for me and I need to not be in baby land 24 hours a day if that makes sense so yeah it's um it's it, it's hard but it's rewarding and I'm so grateful that I have a husband who you know has a flexible job as well who understands what we're going through right now and you know is letting him work the schedule that he's working and and you know so that way that allows him to be home in the afternoons to take care of her so that I can really get my stuff done. Good morning everyone happy Friday we have made it to the end of my first week back at work. I'm just, I usually would already be logged on right now, but I allowed myself a bit of grace to watch this summer I turned pretty finale. Um, which, by the way, like, spoiler alert coming, I was hoping she'd choose Jeremiah because honestly, like, while I do believe Conrad is her soulmate, and I, I truly believe that they will come back to each other one day. She needed a little change up. She needed to give a chance of, you know, that chance of Jeremiah. She, yeah, she needed to give it a go. So I'm happy. And I think for this point in her life, he's good for her. But anyways, uh, I am very tired. I'm, like I said yesterday, I've literally been more tired this week than I have the entire time I was on leave um so I'm very much ready for the weekend I have a fun weekend plan so I'm excited but um yeah today I have a light day and with that my week comes to a close um I'm I've it's been a really good week but I'm so brain fed so I'm done for the day it's 3:37, and I'm just I can't <laughs> I'm just done for the day quite honestly so that being said I'm gonna go enjoy time with my family um but this week was hard it was hard but it was also very enlightening it definitely I have a new sense of purpose coming back to work and I think anyone who's had a child and gone back to work can understand that you know I think especially in the job that I do it it really kind of lights a fire under my butt. It makes me want to chase the deals and do what I need to do to give my daughter a good life. Um, Cause she deserves it. She deserves a world. 
so yeah but it was a good week i hope you guys enjoyed this i hope this isn't too boring for you guys i know it was just like me sitting here talking literally for five days but um that's because that's all i've been doing i haven't literally i've only gone upstairs during the day to like eat lunch so <laughs> um yeah i am brain fried i'm done and i hope you guys have had a great week and i'll see you in the next video hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already i love you guys